Hi, I'm Elaine. Welcome to Top Tip Tuesday on my Stamp with Elaine Facebook page. Today I'm going to talk about the stitch shape dies. These come in a set of four each in three different shapes. So there's the oval, the circle and the square. Now if you have a spare moment or two, it's good to just cut out the shapes out of your Whisper White cardstock and bag them up into bags and pop them into an acetate box and then nice. all cut the templates so that all you need to do is put it on your stamparatus and then stamp whatever shape you need to um, with the circles. So this is the largest of the circles. And you can use the template of what it would fit. These are true to size so you can easily gauge whether that flower is going to fit or what image is going to fit. Uh, same with the sentiments. <coughs> Will that fit? Will this fit? And that's my top tip for today. So you can do the same with the oval shapes and the square shapes. And I pop them in these acetate boxes, which is still available. And then when I need something, like I did for this card here the other day when I was making it, and the vellum cardstock on it was lost on the black, so all I had to do was reach for one of these pre-cut ones and then pop it on top. So it saves you time in the end. I've done the same with the ovals and I think I might have to cut some more of the squares because I've used that the most. So that's my top tip for today. Um, <clears throat> if you've got these stitch shaped dies, you can die cut loads and loads in the neutral colours whether it's whisper white or very vanilla store them in these boxes and then whenever you have an emergency or you're strapped for time you can just reach out and pick one of these to suit your project that you're working on thanks for joining me today and I'll pop back with more tips next week bye